Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's science uh, challenge. We are headed into a little bit of thermal energy transfer, still in physics and still in engineering. So our big task this week, um, it's a challenge and it is a design. So here is the problem. Medications damaged by heat and humidity can lose their effectiveness. People who rely on medicines can have complications if their medications do not maintain the right temperature. How could medications be maintained at appropriate temperatures if a catastrophic event occurs in your area that causes power loss? Materials that allow thermal energy to transfer easily are considered to be conductors. Aluminum is an example of a good conductor. Materials that are slow uh, to transfer the thermal energy are considered to be insulators. So cotton batting is considered to be a good insulator and is commonly used in hot pads with an oven. Here's your challenge. You're going to test materials that could be used in a design model of a new device that will minimize thermal energy transfer. So you're going to draw a detailed diagram of the prototype of the new device that includes the transfer of energy through the design system and provide instructions for building that medicine container. So you might work for a company that is transferring medication, maybe on a truck, or maybe you, you house the medications and it's just not functioning properly for you at this time. So here's some criteria. You could use something found around your home. Um, it can't be larger than a shoebox, so it has to be small. I think medication is not meant to be um, large. It needs to be portable. And then a device may maintain one ice cube frozen for 24 hours. So this is the test to see if it um, functions. So you need to keep it frozen for one day. Um, this is pretty easy and should be a lot of fun if you get your family members involved. Um, you are going to make note of some of our, your ideas. The more riding you do, the better. This is similar to last week's challenge with the roller coaster, although this one does not need a video, so you don't need motion. I left um, these areas blank on purpose because I wanted to see what you could come up with on your own. So just like last week, you can take a photo and have your family email it to me, or you could draw it and upload it into Google Classroom. So you have your choice. It is important that you do some of the writing, maybe some cause and effect, maybe something that worked, something that didn't work, maybe some redesign ideas. Um, if you have a brainstorming plan, that's okay. It's not really necessary that you include your brainstorming, but then we will have a rubric that has the quality of the prototype, the criteria expectations met. And then as far as presentation goes, we will not present unless you have yours ready to go for one of the lunch bunch meetings this week or for the math and science discussion on Tuesday. And then try to be innovative. Try to think of something that hasn't been done before. So that's one of our skills. And I do want to show you the design process because this is a neat graphic that is a little bit different than the one that we've had in the classroom. So it starts with the brainstorming with the, with the orange wheel. Uh, we've got to define the problem first though. Money, time, size, environmental impact, be creative with it. Um, note that it is very important that we save time, save money, and that we reduce size and we have less impact upon the environment as possible. And we use materials that are durable and uh, safe, obviously. So after brainstorming is planning, then obviously the building. So you actually are making a medicine container. So you are taking a picture of a real object. Yes, you're including a sketch, but I actually want to see it. So keep it with you by your computer when you present it. I think it could be really cool to show. So you are building with material that you have. You have a week to complete it and then to share it with the class. You're going to test it to see if it works. How are you going to test it? Take that ice cube, put it inside of it. If it lasts for 24 hours completely without melting, you have completed your task. If it did not work, you do something called the redesign. And how can you make your solution better? So let's say it didn't work at all and you tried it two or three times. That's okay. Not everything is going to work. But I feel like if you use perseverance and creativity, it's going to turn out really awesome. So good luck. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Um, remember that this is kind of our final week of science. So your thermal energy test is um, just on your challenge. It's just on your engineering design. So good luck. Take your time. Let me know if you have any questions.